Uh, Governor Christie, thanks for joining us. Let's talk about this storm. The mayor of North Wildwood, New Jersey, says the flooding there is worse than during Sandy. Hundreds of people had to be evacuated. Were officials in New Jersey caught off guard? Oh, no. Listen, the, the folks that were evacuated were evacuated, and we planned to do that um, if, the, if the tide came in. Let's keep this in perspective, Jake. Um, North Wildwood in the Cape May County area was the least flooded area during Hurricane Sandy and, in, and had almost no damage in that area of the state. And so to compare it to Hurricane Sandy, you're not comparing it to what happened to the rest of the state. Um, and also from looking at what's going on in Margate, high tide is now over in Margate and the water will now recede and we have no concerns for flooding the rest of the day today. And what we're hearing from uh, the mayors is that there is uh, no significant type of property damage there at all. And so we've really done very, very well um, in, in this storm and, uh, and we have no concerns about flooding or damage from flooding anytime soon. You worked with uh, Governor Andrew Cuomo on closing the bridges and tunnels in and out of New York City. They reopened this morning at 7 in the morning. Governor Cuomo went the additional step of instituting a travel ban for New York City that's been lifted. Do travel bans work in situations like this? Well, listen, it, it very much depends upon um, the, the area you're talking about. For New Jersey, Jake, as you know, um, uh, we didn't really need to have a travel ban because we had been having a voluntary uh, ban the entire day. And people, I've been traveling the roads all day. If I had seen a lot of people on the roads, I might have instituted a travel ban. I could tell you that I was on the parkway, on the turnpike, um, and all day the only, the only vehicles I saw were plows, emergency vehicles, and mine. And so we didn't need to do it. Uh, you know, Mayor uh, de Blasio, Governor Cuomo made the decisions they made. And I worked cooperatively with Governor Cuomo uh, to close those bridges and tunnels in respect for their mandatory travel ban. And because I didn't want anybody traveling in New Jersey anyway. And so closing those bridges and tunnels were really of no moment for New Jersey. At one point, there were 100,000 people in New Jersey without power. What's the latest on that? And how long will it take to get the whole state back online? We're down to 22,000 without power this morning. Jake, as of 8 a.m. were the latest numbers I had. Um, 18,000 of those are in Atlantic and Cape May County. And so what you'll see is by end of day today, 90% of those 18,000 will be restored. There's about 4,000 in the central part of our state, and those folks will have their power back by this afternoon. Hopefully all of them will be, uh, get their uh, power back in time to watch the football this afternoon. 14 people have died in storm-related uh, incidents uh, from North Carolina up the East Coast. How are the people of New Jersey doing today? We have no reported deaths here in New Jersey, thank goodness, Jake. Our folks worked incredibly hard to keep people safe. We only had to shelter 113 people in public shelters last night, and those were in Cape May, Atlantic, and, and Cumberland counties. And so our folks listened to our warnings. They stayed in. We were prepared. We had 3,800 pieces of equipment on the roadways. All of New Jersey's roadways are open this morning. New Jersey Transit buses and light rail will be ready by noon today. And by later this afternoon, all of New Jersey Transit will be back up and running so that when we get to our uh, morning rush tomorrow morning, we'll be ready to go with no problem at all. I mean, this has been a model response. And as I said yesterday, this is my 17th snow emergency in six years. We know how to do this and it went very well yesterday. What do people in your state need to know about Sunday and then returning to work and school maybe Monday? Well, on Sunday, Jake, what people should do is, again, it's very cold out here. People are going to want to start to go outside and start shoveling, clearing their walks and their driveways. This is very heavy snow. So I, I ask them to please be careful as they're starting to clean up their own property today or their businesses. Second, we're keeping lower speed limits on the turnpike and the parkway because there is still some icing. We're going through and salting and continuing to salt. By midday today, we should be back to regular speed limits, but please drive with caution, and especially on the secondary streets that can be a bit slippery. And third, um, I, I want to commend the people of New Jersey. They played smart. They played safe yesterday. Um, we were lucky that it was a Saturday, I think, and, uh, and, and they did a great job. And so all of us worked together yesterday to make sure that New Jersey was kept safe. And let's face it, Jake, we had a lot more snow up here north where I live uh, than we thought we would, 24 to 30 inches. Um, Newark Airport had 31 inches of snow. And so this is a lot of snow to move, and our folks at DOT, Department of Transportation, uh, did an extraordinary job, as did the people in the state.